Hello, it's John Fifa HD, and welcome back to another episode of Power Hour. So, today we are going to be doing it with 25,000 coins. So, I just want to say a big thank you for the support on the 10k one. That was absolutely amazing. But before we get into this episode, if you're looking to buy any cheap FIFA coins, PSN cards, Microsoft points, check out the game keys and use GMAN to get 5% off. All the links will be in the description below. So yeah, thank you for all the support. If you haven't seen the first episode, go and check it out. It, I did a, I got some quite good deals, I do say so myself. So if you want to see another episode tomorrow, hit that like button. More than 250 and I will do another one. And recommend what budget I should start with next episode. So let's get into the episode, let's go. Right then, I am going to start by showing you what I sold from last episode and we have made a very good profit. I think we started with 75,000 coins round about and we've ended up with 86,000 coins. So that's round about a 14k profit, which is pretty good if I do say so myself. We made about 800, 700 coins on each, maybe a K on some players. The Chivinko we made about 800. The Marcos we made around about 350 coins, but that's not that bad. Remember, we only had 10,000 coins to go out and spend. Mitroglu we also paid 800 coins and sold that for 1.1. Now this one was a really good one. Ruesco, 650 coins and then I had one left from a pack. And there was no point in me just storing it in club. I might as well just get rid of it. And it was not the worst deal in the world. I didn't expect to sell them because we first listed them for 4k and I didn't expect to sell them. Then a couple we got for 300 coins here. This Jan Shanna sold for 450. Bradley Wright Phillips. I didn't know it were in... MLS, but this Castillo got for 300 times our coins by 5, got 1,500 out of it. Polium we got for around about 500, 550. I think we got two, I don't know how they're separated. Osborne, we all got we got all these for 400 coins and managed to make a nice combined total profit of around about 1,000 coins, which is very nice. Chambers, 300 coins, we got him for something 550, and Polium, yeah, we, as you saw, 600 coins. So we've got the Kagawa left that we've just relisted for 3.1. 200 coins lower than previously before. So the first buy of the episode is at Aosu Abey. Sorry if the pronunciation's a little wrong. 5.1k and we're going to list it for 5.8. A decent profit and yeah, we'll take that every single day of the week. Skibby, like the German managers, if you don't know, they go for 1.2. That's the cheapest you can get them for, which wasn't the worst deal in the world. Then we went out and picked up a Sal converted to a cam with a hawk on, which was round about a thousand. 1.1k cheaper, which is always good to see. And yeah, we're going to apply just a red gold contract. There's no point going out and buying a bronze one because we've already got them. We're not going to be using them because I ain't got a team on this account as of yet. So I can't really play games on the PS4. Um, yeah, that's another thing. This is on the PlayStation. And I want to know your opinion. Do you think it's easier to trade on PlayStation or Xbox? Tell me if you've had both. Just leave a comment below. So yeah, that is 3k. That's a, if we sell that, that'll be very nice. And not long after, also a Bay sells. That was a like that when if someone sells within the first hour, it's really good, but it's very unlikely. That's why I cannot show you it straight away. Next, we pick up another player without a contract. Um, a Barry is round about a K cheaper, and well, not a K, around about 600, 700 coins cheaper. And yeah, there's no point in holding back when you see a deal, you've got to go for it. That's the best thing about trading, you're most of the time going to sell your play, you're hardly ever just going to, like, this Benteke, worst case scenario, I'm going to be losing about a K, but I doubt that'll ever happen, so, yeah, this is the best thing about trading with these amounts, because you can get, there's like non-risk involved, and eventually, if you stick to your guns, you'll be able to sell him, next we get this Avene, got 300, we're going to double our coins, sell for 600, and it's always nice to go back to the silver one, because it is really good to do, this one was an in inspirational deal. 300 coins we paid for it and he, the cheapest up for around about 2.3, 2.4 maybe a little bit more and I was thinking about putting it up for 1.9 but I thought that's a little bit too much I don't want to be pushing it. We're going to times our coins by 5 and that's good enough for me at this point and the next one was a Sabota. Next on the market 750 and we managed to pick it up for 300 and I actually believe that these actually go for this price that's why I'm listing it um, for these prices, and that's going to be like a nice 300 400 coin profit. Then finally, this Dennis, this goalkeeper. On first view, I thought it was Roger Senny, but I know that it's obviously not. But yeah, look, 250 coins were paid for that, not 300, which is quite good. And yeah, you might be thinking, oh, he's not doing any high 
uh, budget trading. Well, I want to save the amount of coins I've got um, because I don't want to be paying like 4k for one player and only making a k when I can buy 10 players and make a lot more on each. Next we go to the chemistry style method and we pick this Seriac in a Hunter up for 1.3k. We're going to start for 2k and that's a really good deal as he goes for 1.3 anyway and well, 900 to 1.3 and it's alright that one. Then Rogers we got for 1,300 1, only just being listed 16 minutes in and the next on the market is 2.7 so we're going to try our luck for round of, I was just check in there because I forgot how much it went for, my memory is quite bad. We list it for 2.4, hopefully that'll sell, that'll be a very good profit. For the amount we're trading with, that's a decent one. Next we're going to pick up a Zverajtic, Z he's been playing a lot because of the injuries to Hangland and players like that. And yeah, we got one for 300, might, this one might not be the best because I think there probably will be a, an overload later on, but hopefully I can sell it before then. Next one is an Agard, one for 250 coins here. Next on the market is 500 and I thought, why not? Because, yeah, 250 coins cheaper, there's no point in leaving it really. I was just searching through bronzers, there wasn't too many deals up. Next is a Barry Bannon for 1,600 coins, we're going to list it for 2k. Probably could have got a little bit more out of it, because it actually doesn't take too long to sell. Kagawa sells for 3,100, which is very good. So all the players from the last episode have all sold. And I, will want, I wanted to get a timer in this episode, but it's really hard to do. If I can get it sorted, I might do it. But yeah, if you've got any, if you've got any ideas on how to do that, tell me in the comment section below. Next, we're going to have a look at Ryan Gold. Well, I tried to price fix, didn't go too well. But yeah, this one is non-risk because it's going for 1.5. Someone's price fixed him, not me. They're all up at like 4k and someone's listed it for 1.5. That's like the marker. We're going to list it for cheaper than that. Hopefully, they both sell. And that's quite good. So yeah, we sold the ban and that was a good one as well. Marco Sau, 2,000 coins with a hawk on it, only just being listed. The next, there's none cheaper than 3k, so we're just going to list it for 2.9. Different times of the day it'll end up selling, but other times it will not. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We have spent 25,000 coins. The coin total hasn't gone down to 60k because players are being selling, don't forget. So hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for new round here and I'll catch you later. I've been John Fee for HD. Peace.